to share the news that Beekeeper Group just celebrated our one-year anniversary. We've come a long way since we launched at last year's Politics Online conference. Remember, we had that big launch party at Iron Horse, and the bee mascot came out, and you all took pictures with it? Yeah. Well, anyway, staying on top of the best of the best practices in communications and advocacy is what we strive for. And so we thought we'd take a few minutes to share our five favorite trends in public affairs. Well, beekeeper group style, of course. One to many communications have evolved from just a conference call. It's easy now for an organization to broadcast an event live with both audio and video and have participants engage from anywhere. It scales with your technology, whether you're on a mobile device or sitting at your desk enjoying a full multimedia experience, you're connecting with your community. And with today's travel budget cuts, it's not surprising that virtual town halls are taking off the way they are. For those not familiar with virtual town halls, it's just like chat roulette, except with pants. We've said it once, we'll say it again. We can't get enough of producing short videos to introduce an issue, explain policy positions, or just connect with a member base. Whether it's an animation, a message from your organization leadership, or a virtual site tour, we guarantee you'll get the full attention of your desired audience, even if it's just for a short time. People are inundated with reading material. Give them something short and punchy, otherwise you know where your message is going to end up. I'm sure you've read our blog post by now on how the iPad is affecting political communications. You haven't? Well, I'll tell you about it now and you can read more about it later on our blog at HiveTalking.com. iPads aren't just cool toys, they're actually great tools to modernize your activism activities, especially the iPad 2, which now has video conferencing capabilities. Whether it's collecting names for a petition, checking in people at an event, canvassing, or your own custom application, it's goodbye pen and clipboard, hello sleek modern design. And what's my prediction for what's next? Forget flying everyone for D.C. for a one-day lobbying blitz. Forward-thinking organizations will begin to take advantage of the video chat features of FaceTime and line up appointments with Capitol Hill. It's goodbye fly-ins, hello wi fi in. Oh, we're on? My pick would have to be mobile. Before I helped organize the Mobile Citizen Summit, or used SMS to map election monitoring in Africa, I was already a big fan of using mobile for communication, advocacy, and fundraising. Did you know next year U.S. mobile penetration will be over 100% and 83% of those messages are read within 15 minutes? Talk about connection. Oh, give me a second here. Oh, I have to go. Looks like Justin Bieber tickets are on sale. If you know me at all, you won't be surprised to learn that my pick for top trend in advocacy is, yup, social media. Once overlooked as a fleeting fad, these web destinations of choice for billions of people globally should be an integral part of any communications campaign. You are all producing such amazing content. Research, reports, legislative updates, event announcements. Don't just let it all sit there on your website. Get it out there. We're policymakers, media, bloggers, voters, they're all listening. So Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, these are just some of the hives where your bees are now buzzing. What, you didn't think we'd get through a whole video without a beekeeping metaphor, did you?